Today is May the 4th, Star Wars Day. It's also uh, the old Queen's birthday. Dominic's off school because he's got the squits and belly ache, can you buddy? Oh, he's not talking. We took him in, but alas, he had to run back to the car. I got belly ache. So he's probably gonna mope all day. What I'm gonna do first thing is just get the paint down here, and then I've got some stuff to take up to the house to get sorted for the weekend. So that's the plan. That, folks, is what one five litre tin of floor paint gets you. In fact, I'll run up the stairs for a better perspective. Ah. What do we think to her? I think she looks pretty st pretty st pretty damn smart, if you ask me. So oh my god. They let him on the road. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Paint's done, buddy. Oh, it looks nice and yellow there from the sunlight. Oh, I'm glad we kept them windows, that's nice. So we'll come back with another tin another day. Dave just brought me a window handle for the pub because uh, it snapped off, so we've just changed that. And uh, I've got the uh, jet wash in the back of the car. We're going to go home and give the patio a blast, ready for tomorrow's barbecue session. Because that is the plan. In the beautiful sunshine. So we've got the whole area jet washed, scrubbed clean. I've got the smoker and the grill out. Jet washed inside there as well, believe it or not. Doing it a good clean and a good scrub. So what I'm going to do now is run across to uh, the wholesalers, macro or bookers or something like that. And I'm going to actually pick up a huge piece of brisket. Like 16 pounds of brisket. And that's what we're going to do for the barbecue tomorrow. So tomorrow's video will be how to smoke a brisket. I've never done one of these before, so it isn't a how-to, I guess. It's a watch me smoke a brisket. Hopefully it'll be ready before everyone comes for the barbecue tomorrow. And of course, this ain't a two-minute job. This needs to be smoked for like nine hours looking at the Oklahoma Joe recipes, because that's an Oklahoma Joe uh, smoker. So. Let's shoot across to Macro anyway and see if we can't get a nice piece of a beef. What a wonderful world. Well, we've arrived at Macro. I've just sent Gemma in to uh, sort a card out because I don't have a macro card with me. 
We've got an Hyperama card and a Booker card and Booker's is just round the corner. But not a bloody macro card, so hopefully they'll let us into macro today. Finally back from the wholesalers. So tomorrow's barbecue is going to consist of Red Strap Lager. Jamaican, for those who don't. Don't what, you might ask? Don't IPA, my friend, for those who don't IPA. And we've got 48 American beef burgers, tons of onions, some WKD for the ladies, some Pinot for the ladies, big bag of ice, hey, 12 kilos of ice, maybe more, and and the best brisket of a beef that man can buy. Oh yes, baby. 30 quid's worth of brisket going into the smoker. Flob. Hey, I'll do that again for the girls that missed it. Flob. Right, next job is put all the grill racks back into the Oklahoma Joe. And then we're going to set it to around 250 degrees Fahrenheit or 125 degrees science and uh, hook the chimney up and then get smoking. Maybe from the middle of the night till the morning right through until lunchtime. So if you want to see the smoking I suggest you tune in tomorrow. Oh, fingers crossed I've never done it before. Well, that's it. We'll see you then.